Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are doing extremely well. So first of all, thank you so much for the wonderful response to my first video. So I'm back with one more. So this question uh, is basically aggressive cows and it is taken from Sporch. Now what does the question states? The question states you will be given five stalls and an array that contains the location of every stall and yes, the location might not be given in the sorted order. Like the first stall is at the first location. The second stall is at the second location. The third stall is at the fourth, fourth coordinate. And the fourth stall is at the eighth coordinate. Fifth stall is at the ninth coordinate. Okay. So this is how the stalls are. Now you will be given certain number of cows. Over here, I have given you three cows. But according to the question, the number of cows can be anything between two and n okay like over here n is 5 so it can be between 2 and 5 that is the constraints but over here for this example cows has been given as 3 so your task is to place these 3 cows among these 5 stalls such that you get the largest minimal distance did not understand the question right okay let me explain you let's take these 3 cows and try to place them so let's imagine I try to place the cow 1 here okay and I say, I can place a cow 2 here. And I say, I can place a cow 3 here. So if I if I try out placing 3 cows in this configuration, is that valid? That is valid. Now you need to figure out the distance between them. Yes, you need to figure out the distance between them. So the distance between cow 1 and cow 2 is 1. The distance between cow 2 and cow 3 is 2. Now among this, which is the minimal distance? The minimal distance is nothing but... 1. So you get this as 1. Is this the only configuration? No. So let's try placing it one more time. C1 can be placed here. C2 can be placed here. C3 can be placed here. Perfect. Now if I figure out what is the difference between them, can I say the difference between this cow and this cow is nothing but 3. The difference between this cow and this cow is nothing but 5. Hence, what is the minimal among them? Can I say the minimal among them is 3? Okay. But is this the only configuration that you can have? Definitely not. Why? Because I can have a C1 here. I can say, let's have a C2 here. Let's have a C3 here. If I have this, C1 is here, right? So what's the, this distance? This distance is nothing but 7. What's this distance? That's 1. So what's the minimal of 1 and 7? That's 1, correct? Now, can I have any other configuration? Definitely yes. I can say, I will place a cow 1 here. I will place a cow 2 uh, here. I will place a cow 3 here. And if I do this, the difference that I will get is nothing but 6. And the difference that I will get over here is 1. Again, the minimal that I get is 1 from this configuration. Can I try out other configurations? Yes, I can. I'll say I'll place a cow 1 here, a cow 2 here, a cow 3 here. Now if I try out this configuration, the difference that I will get over here is 3. Difference over here will be 4. So the minimal over here that I will get is 3. So you can try out every possible configuration, yes, of placing 3 cows. And out of all these configurations, you figure out the minimals. Try out all the minimals and whichever minimal is the largest, which is the largest minimal. There can be further configuration, but among this, which is the largest, three is the largest and that three will be your answer. This is your largest minimal distance. So if I summarize the question, you have to place three cows among n stalls such that the minimal distance between cows is as large as possible. That is the question. So before moving to the next part of the video, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video. So this video is sponsored by Relevel, which is backed up by Unacademy. Relevel kya hai? It's world's first hiring tournament platform. Kya hota hai? Kya hota hai ki? Challenge hota hai, right? Ab ja ke us challenge pe participate karoge. Ab us challenge pe, agar aap top 25 percentage pe aate ho, aapko ek Relevel score milta hai. Us scores ko le ja ke, ab Relevel ke jo site hai, उस उन्होंने बहुत सारी कंपनीज ऑनबोर्ड की है जैसे रेजर पे हो गया कोऑर्डिनेशन हो गया अर्बन क्लैप हो गया एमजी हो गया येलो मैसेंजर हो गया 
ऐसे इंडिया में जितने बर्डिंग स्टार्टअप्स है ना सबसे इन्होंने टाइप करके रखा है क्योंकि ईयर एंड चल रहा है तो सबके कंपनीज में ओपनिंग्स है ज्यादा नहीं हर कंपनी में पांच दस ओपनिंग है सो so, टोटल इन्होंने सौ कंपनी से टाइप किया करेंटली सो अराउंड फाइव फिफ्टी ओपनिंग है आप इन ओपनिंग पे जाके इंटरव्यू दे सकते हो रेलेबल स्कोर से आप आपका इंटरव्यू होगा स्केड्यूल्ड आप तीन चार राउंड्स होंगे जो भी उनके कंपनी के प्रोसेस होंगे उसके बाद आप अगर क्लियर करते हो आपको जॉब ऑफर मिल जाएगा एंड आप सारे कंपनीज में अप्लाई कर सकते हो अपने रेलेवल स्कोर से अभी क्वेश्चन आता है किस किस फील्ड पे जॉब है बैक एंड फ्रंट एंड बिजनेस डेवलपमेंट सब चीज का जॉब इनके पोर्टल पे है सो so, जो टूर्नामेंट होने वाला है वो ट्वेंटी जून पे होने वाला है लास्ट डेट टू रजिस्टर है ट्वेंटी जून सो मैं लिंक छोड़ दूंगा डिस्क्रिप्शन पे जाकर रजिस्टर कर लो सोच रहे बहुत पैसे नहीं सिर्फ वन लगेंगे चैलेंज में पार्टिसिपेट करने के एंड अगर आप मेरा कूपन को टेक यू फॉरवर्ड यूज करते हो आपको वन सेवन नाइन नाइन में मिल जाएगा जाके पार्टिसिपेट कर लो क्योंकि ये मौका हर दिन नहीं आता है सो हाउ सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम द फर्स्ट अप्रोच दैट कम्स टू माय माइंड इज प्रोबेबली आई कैन ट्राई आउट ऑल कंफिगुरेशन दैट्स डन बाई रिकॉर्शन ट्राई आउट ऑल कंफिगुरेशन एंड विच एवर इज द लार्जेस्ट मिनिमल डिस्टेंस आई फाइंड विल बी माई आंसर But again, I cannot implement recursion because it's going to be exponential in nature. What's the next approach? Why don't I try a brute force? Okay, let's try a brute force and then try to figure out a monotonic function so that we can get to binary search. Okay, I ask you, can I have one as the answer? Can I have one as the answer? I ask you the simple question. You'll be like, yes. And how do you figure that out? Let's start placing cow. I'll say I'll place cow one here. Okay, I want to have one as the answer. Can I place a cow to here? Yes, I can because if I place a cow to here, the distance between this cow and distance between this cow is just one, and I want one to be my answer. So this is the minimal distance I want to be between cows. So one is still possible. Can I place a cow three here? I can because even if I place a cow three here. The distance is two, and I want the minimal distance to be kept as one, which is still being satisfied. So now I ask you, now I ask you, can I keep a distance of two and place three cows? I'll be like, cow one will be here, but can I place a cow to here? If I place a cow to here, the distance will be one, which is not what I want. I want to keep a minimal distance of at least. Two, so I cannot place over here. So can I place a cow to over here? Yes, I can. If I place, I will be keeping a distance of three. Can I place a cow three here? Yes, because if I place a cow three here, I'll be keeping a minimum distance of four. So by at least keeping a distance of two, I was able to place three cows, right? So this two is also possible. Let's see if three is possible or not. So if I try three, can I place a cow one here? Yes, I can. Can I place a cow two here? No, I cannot because the distance will be one, which I don't want. I want to keep a minimal distance of three, so that's not possible. So what I'll do is I'll place a cow two here. Can I place a cow two here? Yes, because if I place a cow two here, the distance is three. Can I place a cow three here? Yes, I can because the distance. Will be four. So what I can say is, I can place cows by keeping a distance of three. Okay, fine. But can I keep? Can I place cows by keeping a distance of four? That's the next question. Let's try that. If I say cow one go, will go over here, cow two cannot go because distance will be one. Cow three can it go over here? Can it go? The distance will be three. Which I do not want. I want to keep a minimum distance of four. So that's obviously not possible. So can I place a cow to here? Yes, I can because the distance from here to here is seven. But can I place a cow three here at nine? No. Why? Because the distance will be one between these two cows. So a cow three cannot be placed. So what I saw was. by keeping a distance of 4 i was not able to place three cows so so which is your answer your answer is 3 so what did i do i linearly started from 1 and i went on and whichever was the last distance which is possible that was my answer so that's nothing but a 
quadratic n square solution why because the first for loop will be running for distance the second for loop will be checking will be running for the check because i have to check by placing three cows so for loop for loop the complexity becomes n square which is obviously not something which i want but can i observe something over here yes a monotonic function let's see how i say answer is possible at 1 i say answer is possible at 2 i say answer is possible at 3 i say answer is not possible at 4 so if i ask you is answer possible at 5 no why because if by keeping a distance of 4 you could not place three cows by increasing the distance of 5 how can you place three cows so i can say towards this the answer is not possible towards this the answer is possible so whenever you see such a tendency that's when you apply binary search yes that's when you apply binary search and your search phase is definitely going to start from one but till how much till how much is the question so the worst case can be because i have been said i'll be given couple of cows right the worst case of answer can be if i place a cow one here if i place a cow two here imagine if i have been given couple of cows just imagine you are given couple of cows can i say the search phase will be between one because that's the minimal answer and till 1 minus 9 that's 8 can i say that's my search phase where my answer will lie where this becomes low and this becomes high so i have figured out my search space i have proved that it's a monotonic function so let's apply on the search space and try to figure out my answer so i know my search space is between 1 to 8 correct let's figure out the middle which which is your middle the middle of 1 and 8 is nothing but 1 plus 8 9 9 by 2 4 so your middle is 4 let's see if i can place cows by keeping a distance of 4 So what do you do is you start by placing a cow one here. You place the cow one here, right? Can I place a cow two here? I want to keep a distance of four. Can I place a cow two here? No, because the distance is one. Can I place a cow two here? No, because the distance is three. If I place a cow two here, the distance is three. Four minus one. This is three. Can I place a cow two here? Yes, yes. Why? Because the distance is seven. and you are at least keeping a distance of 4 you are at least keeping a distance of 4 can i place a cow 3 here no because you have to keep a distance of 4 so can i say by keeping a distance of 4 i was only able to place two cows whereas my demand was to place three cows so that's not possible so what i can say is if by keeping 4 it was not possible then by keeping 5 it will not be possible by keeping 6 it will be not 7 not 8 not so can i reduce my search space yes can i reduce my search space to 1 2 3 that this guy will become my high that's why high equal to mid minus 1 by research high equal to mid minus 1 now what will be your mid your mid will be nothing but 2 Now let's see if you can place cows by keeping a distance of two. I say cow one is placed here. Perfect. Can I place a cow two here? No. You have to keep a distance of two. Can you place a cow two here? Yes, because the distance of two is still kept. Can you place a cow three here? Yes, because the distance between them is four, and the distance of two is still kept. The moment you are able to place three cows, you can say. by keeping two i was able to place three cows hence you can probably store this answer in some resultant so that's going to be two so i am looking for largest if i am looking for largest where should i move i should move on to the right i want to increase the value so what i'll do is i'll move on to the right so my search space will move to the right since two is my answer i'll try to go on the right that is from 3 to the 3 so this will now become low now i'll try to figure out in the search space can someone be the answer so i'll find the middle 
to be nothing but 3. Can this 3 be the answer? Let's try to place. If I place a cow 1 here, that's okay. Next, can I place a cow 2 here? No. Can I place a cow 2 here? Yes. Can I place a cow 3 here? Yes, because I'm still keeping a distance of 3. Hence, by keeping a distance of 3, I was able to place 3 cows. So the resultant will get updated to 3. Now, I'm at 3. I want to move. I want to move. So this low will move to mid plus 1. So the low moves to this portion. Hence, my new search space is from 3 to 4. Can I say I have reached a position where high low has crossed high and this is when you can stop binary search hence this is the break point towards the left possible towards the right not possible hence you wanted the largest so the largest answer possible is 3 or either you can print resultant or you can print high which will be your answer. Now remember one thing, the stalls might be given in unsorted, like the coordinates might be unsorted. But since the, you, you have to figure out the distance between two cows, please make sure you sort the array. Please make sure you sort the array so that one to four are like are adjacent so that you can figure out the difference of distance. Okay, so that's how the binary search can be implemented. Now let's discuss the code. So can I say, if I'm writing the binary search code, the low will always be 1. I can definitely say that. And what will be the high? Can I say the high will be nothing but a of n minus 1 minus a of 0. That's the maximum minus the minimum because you have sorted, assuming you have sorted the array. So that's the high because assuming cow 1 is placed at the first guy, cow 2 is placed at the last guy. The maximum distance you can have is high minus, like the maximum minus minimum. So that's how you do it. Now, what about the binary search? Binary search, you know, will run from low lesser than equal to high. Correct? So let's run the binary search from low lesser than high. What about the middle? Middle will be low plus high by 2. Correct? That's what your middle will be. Now, you have done your middle. Now, you know one thing. I need to place these cows by keeping a distance of middle. So I will say if can place cows, can place cows by keeping a distance of middle. If I can place, what does that mean? I've got someone as my answer. So I will say resultant, you have got middle as your answer. I'll say resultant, you would have got middle as your answer. Now, the question was saying, figure out the largest minimal distance. That's the question. I want to find the largest. So, my low will move to the right and try to figure out a largest answer. But if I cannot place cows, if I cannot place cows, then what will happen? Then I will reduce high and say, reduce the distance and try to figure out the answer. And the while loop will end over here. This is how your binary search code will look like. And in place of can place cows, I'm going to talk about this function now. I hope you have understood the binary search. So assume you have a boolean function and it is named as can place cows. Given the array, given the size of the array, given the number of cows and this distance, you have to check. Can you place cows by keeping a distance of this? So... Tell me one thing, where will you place the first cow? You, you want to place cows, right? You want to place whatever is the number of cows. So the greedy way, the greedy way, don't you think? The best thing is to place the cow at the coordinate. Don't you think? A of 0. The first cow should go at the coordinate A of 0, right? So that's okay. So can I say the count of cows placed till now is 1? I'm assuming... First cow, in this example, 1, 2, 4, 8, 9, first cow is placed here. And the count is 1. So I place the first cow here. And that the coordinate has been stored here. Let's try checking 
from the next cow that's 1 to i lesser than n and i plus plus okay so that's how i will move forward now can i say if i am at a of i and minus where the cow one or the last cow got placed if that's if this value is is greater than equal to distance because I want to keep at least this distance. I want to keep at least this distance. Then can I say, then can I say, I will, let's say I'm at here. Then I will place the next cow here. And if I do that, my count of cows will increase. My count of cows will increase. And since I've placed a cow here, this coordinate will be 4. So my coordinate this time becomes A of I because I've placed a cow. Because I've placed a cow at A of I. Okay. So this is what you will do if, if your distance is satisfied. What, what if the distance is not satisfied? Don't do anything. Right. And if while placing cows in the for loop at any junction. Yes. At any junction. You are able to place the given like the count. The count becomes equal to equal to cows right if you are placing it placing cows and you have satisfied the given cows you can definitely return a true you can definitely return a true but what if the entire for loop is over and you never executed this that means you are you are not able to place given number of cows hence return false hence you are going to return false and hence it started over here it will end over here so this is how can place cows will look now if i talk about the time complexity can place cow takes a n time so that's a n time to check if you can place cows the binary search takes logarithmic of n so log n into n is what your time complexity should be for this algo Extra space, nothing. You're not using any extra space. That's what the time complexity boils down to. N into log n rather than the n square that we discussed. So, then, so guys, I hope you have understood the entire explanation. Just in case you did, please make sure you like this video. And if you're new to our channel, do consider subscribing. With this, bye-bye. Take care. Whenever your heart is broken, don't ever forget your golden.